tonight. Hope you have an amazing time. Um, if you came out tonight to see the 21 year old, you missed that 50 years ago. Because tonight you're getting 72 years old. What the hell happened? I mean, I can't remember if that's the way I like it. Getting down tonight's easy, getting back up. That's a whole nother story. And this whole pandemic, I mean, I put on a lot of weight, as you can see. I used to look like my pinky, now I look like both of my hands. You still look good. And I thought, you know, oh my God, I might have to rename the band KFC and the Sunshine Band. <laughs> you, know, you know, you can't do that, you gotta lose the weight, so. I'm working on the diet thing and everything, and I thought, we gotta set a goal, so I thought I'd set a goal. And I wanna get down to my original weight of seven pounds, nine ounces. Right? Oh, man. Now, I know there's a lot of young kids in the audience tonight, and you're probably like, Mom, who the hell are they? Who were they, Mom? Well, I was your mother's in sync. And get a good look at me because this is what Justin Timberlake's gonna look like in 30 years. <laughs> what the hell happened? <laughs> I hope you guys all have a good time and I thanks so much uh, for the city of Hempstead for having us out here tonight. Um, I love New York. And God bless the USA. I had a couple ballads that were huge hits in the very beginning of the 1980s. So I'm gonna put those in right here. God bless you. God bless you. In love 
in my life. You see, I love you so very, very, very much. I'm sorry. I can't change the past, but I can fix the future if you'll just let me show you. So just take my hand and come with me, you and me, and let's walk into forever like we're supposed to be. I love you so very, very, very much. Yeah.
us everybody to you really quickly here. From Las Vegas, Nadia, ladies and gentlemen. Also from Las Vegas, Tarianne. From Miami, Florida, Miss Maria de Crescenzo. From Las Vegas, Miss Anika Manji. On the keyboards, from Las Vegas, Michael Joy. On bass, from London, Mr. Steve Lashley, ladies and gentlemen. On the guitar, from Los Angeles, Chris Lane. On saxophone, from Miami, Florida, Felipe Lamoglia. Also from Miami on trombone, Miles Fielder. And from Miami on trumpet, Cisco Dimas. From Jacksonville, Florida, Mr. John Reed, ladies and gentlemen. On the drums from Detroit, Michigan, Mr. David Simmons. And on percussion, he's been with me since 1976. From Havana, Cuba, Mr. Fermin Guaita Solo. KC, this is the Sunshine Band. We're going to go to 19, 1974. Oh, I forgot, I forgot our musical director, uh, Jay Witt from uh, Houston, Texas. I got carried away. They're rushing me, so you know. We're doing an album on Jay Witt, so look out for it. In the back of my car. Um, anyway, um, this song was a huge hit over in Europe, and we're going there on next next week or whatever. And so uh, I, I haven't done it in a long time. Uh, it was like my first big hit record before we get down tonight. It went like this.
I started my career out as a songwriter. I've been writing since I was 13 years old. My songs have been recorded, sampled by over 300 artists worldwide in almost 55 years. But this was my first number one song as a writer. And I had no idea that the impact it was going to have on music, how it was going to change music, how it was going to create a whole new style, a whole new vibe, a whole new everything. And the other thing I never realized was the, the, the influence it was going to have on other recording artists. So they had been a Wikipedia. Then I was reading an article that ABBA had written. And they said this song that I wrote influenced them to write a song called Dancing Queen. And I thought, well, if I didn't write this song, I guess we never would have heard Dancing Queen. And then a few a few months ago, my, my, my buddy texted me and said, Hey, bro, did you realize that John Lennon said this is the one song he wished he would have written? I thought John Lennon wished he would have written this song that I wrote. And so I did a little bit more reading into John Lennon's stuff, and I read an article where it said that this song influenced him to write a song called Whatever Gets You Through the Night. It was my first number one song. It was recorded by George McCray. And it went just like this.
songs on our upcoming album. It's a song they wrote just for a night like this in Hempstead, New York. Come on, put your hands together. Help us out. Here we go. Be sure to check out merchandise available for sale on Back in the Back. 